Welcome to the Fast Fix channel, my name is Jason and today I'm cleaning out the brush head on my Dyson V6 vacuum. Cleaning the brush head can resolve common Dyson related problems like surging or the vacuum turning off after only running for a few moments. But if cleaning the brush head doesn't solve your surging or early off problems, check out my other video linked at the end detailing the cleaning of the suction end of the vacuum. Ok enough talking, let's get to work. The first thing we need to do is remove the brush itself. There's a retainer cap on one side of the brush head and as you can see the channel is fairly large and a screwdriver will not work. So I'm using a bottle opener. Hey shout out to Old Chicago and their epic beer tour. If you don't have a bottle opener just find something with some width about it that can mostly fill the channel. Turn to the left and the brush will come loose. Simply pull the brush out of its housing. Sometimes twisting can help the brush come out easier. Once the brush is removed, take scissors or a razor blade and remove any hair or debris that wrapped itself around the brush. You might be thinking we're all done but not quite yet. See all the compressed dust and debris lodged in the back? It's pretty hidden but needs to be cleaned out. This can also be a source for surging and early off issues. You can unlock this retainer with a common screwdriver, but if you don't have one laying around, a quarter works just as well. Make sure to turn this clamp all the way to the left so that the channel is parallel with the leading edges of the housing as seen here. Now simply lift up on this piece to remove it. It's hooked in on the left side and is easily removed. See all the dust here? This can accumulate over time and cause the brush to not perform well. Clean all the dust out while also inspecting the intake tube. Clean out any obstructions here as well. You can make use of common household items to clean out this area. I'm using a butter knife which works well. As you can see there was actually quite a bit of debris in this area and I'm certainly glad it's gone. This should help restore the cleaning power of the vacuum. In my opinion there's no reason to get this area spotless because it'll become dirty after the first moment of use. Just getting out the blockage is what's most important. I don't advise any further disassembly of the brush head unit because the steps you've taken to this point are all that you should need to do to fully clean the unit. However, if you need to take the unit apart for other reasons, you'll need a T8 Torx screwdriver as seen here. Simply find all the screws and remove them. The unit will separate and you can replace or clean parts as needed. Again, unless something is broken, going this far to clean just isn't necessary. But if you had to do it, here's what it'll look like. I didn't fully disassemble this unit because, again, there's just no reason to go this far for a cleaning job. However, I will say this will give you the best access to the intake tube should there be an obstruction that you couldn't remove from the steps earlier. Reassembly is very easy. See the hook on the left side? Simply set the hook and lay the piece down to its original position. Using a quarter or a screwdriver, clock the clamp to the 12 6 position. This will secure it in place. Install the brush by inserting it back into the housing. Spin the brush around and apply pressure. It may take a couple spins for the brush to sink back up with the housing, but just keep at it. It will go back into place. Once it pops back in, use your bottle opener or whatever tool you chose to lock the clamp back. A 2 degree turn is all you need, just so the channel is clocked at the 3-9 position as seen here. And that's all there is to it. It's really a simple procedure to solve the notorious Dyson surge and early off issues. And hey, if this video helped you, please help me and hit like and subscribe. It makes a world of difference. Thanks for watching and have a great day.